Hello, it's Jade X, and I'm gonna talk about the best gorilla song. I'm not talking about the band gorillas, instead I'll talk about the Cartoon Network Groovy song, Gorilla For Sale. Well, not just that song, but multiple Cartoon Network Groovy songs. If you watch Cartoon Network or Boomerang during the early 2000s, you probably saw quite a few of these short music videos. I won't talk about every Groovy, since we'd be here all day. Instead, I'll talk about my personal favorite ones. First, I want to talk about The Incredible Shrinking Day, which is one song I had to include in this video. It's a classic, and is one of the first things that comes to mind when I think of Cartoon Network Groovies. This video is about Sarah giving the Eds lemonade that contains a shrinking potion. The Eds drink it and they become small and Sarah puts them in her dollhouse. The three friends fear Sarah because they are small. Thankfully, the Eds grow to normal size at the end of the video. Not only is the video good, but the song is as well. The song's about a guy who doesn't want to be friends with a person anymore because he has friends on the outside. He won't come in anymore. Anyway, this song is a very popular one and I love it. The art style is great. This song has been misattributed to They Might Be Giants, when in reality it was performed by a musician named Stuart Hill. Speaking of They Might Be Giants, they actually did two songs for Groovies, one being Dee Dee and Dexter. This music video has a cool anime art style. The song is about, well, Dee Dee and Dexter. It's a solid song. In addition to that, They Might Be Giants did a song about Courage the Cowardly Dog. The music video looks decent, has a scary theme park aesthetic. I like the song, but the video itself doesn't have much animation. While I like this song, I definitely prefer a different Courage Groovy music video. That video is titled Courage. The video has gorgeous animation and an elegant art style. The video takes place in an alternate reality where Eustace and Muriel are rich. Eustace tells a girl named Kin to sing a song, so she serenades Courage the Cowardly Dog. In the song, she pronounces Courage's name in French, which is Courage. The video is great as Courage imagines the human party guests as monsters. Is it possible that Courage is imagining all the scary villains he's th fought throughout the series? I doubt it, but this video gives an explanation of sorts on why Courage is scared. This is a very good video. I especially like how kind Eustace is to Courage in this video. I really like Eustace's character design in this video. The dude looks like Mr. Clean with glasses. Then there's my best friend Plank, which I have to mention as well, because people would complain. The song is a ballad of sorts for Johnny 2x4's best friend Plank. It's a good song, and I like how it's filmed in live action. Jabberjaw is one of my favorite Cartoon Network groovies. It's a ska song by the band Pain. I have a lot of nostalgia for this song. I've listened to it quite a bit lately. I really like the music video, especially how it takes place on a lunchbox. The song is about Jabberjaw and how he's a hero. I really like the lyrics in the song, especially the line I'm singing my mic, a special underwater mic. Like, thank you. Thank you for clarifying that it's an underwater mic. Thank you. Back on the topic of Dexter songs, Dexter had three rap songs. One was by Coolia, one was by Will I Am, and one was by Prince Paul. In fact, there was an entire rap album based around Dexter called The Hip Hop Experiment. These three tracks are from an album, and they got music videos. I really like the What's His Name Dexter video, as it features Coolio performing the song with Dexter on stage in front of an audience of Cartoon Network characters. I think that's cool. The song Secret Form by Will I Am is great as well. It's very catchy. The video has the rapper green screened in, rapping, while Dexter acts as a DJ. Back to the Lab again is great as well. It's a really good song. I like how Dexter walks in the video. Now I'll cover two Powerpuff Girls songs. That being Signal in the Sky and Go Monkey Go. There are other Powerpuff Girl groovy songs, we'll just cover these two. Signal in the Sky is a really good song. The song even played in an episode of the show. The song is about the Powerpuff Girls having to follow the signal in the sky. The song is performed by the band Apples in Stereo, who also appear in the video. The video is live action, I like the set design and the giant monster costume. The video features the monster destroying the city, only for him to be defeated by the girls, who are 2D animated. Next there's Go Monkey Go, which is a song made by the band Devo. Fun fact, Mark Mothersbaugh from Devo does a lot of music for cartoons. Check his IMDB. 
Anyway, the song is about Mojo Jojo. It's very catchy. The song celebrates a big-brained chimpanzee villain that hates the Powerpuff Girls. Video features clips of Mojo Jojo mixed in with live-action fonts of Devo band members dressed as the Green Monkey. But this song is the best date themed Cartoon Network Groovy. That award has to go to Gorilla for Sale. Girl for Sale is a music video that aired on Boomerang nonstop back in the day. It's a song by Michael Ungar. The video features clips from the Hanna-Barbera show, Magilla Gorilla. The video has filters over it, and I really like the aesthetic this video has. The song is about how Mr. Peebles has a girl for sale, Magilla Gorilla for sale. The song is great earworm. It never gets old. It's a very chill track to listen to. It's a shame that Boomerang doesn't air this or any of the groovies anymore. <laughs> I didn't talk about all of them, so comment below what your favorite groovies are, which ones I didn't mention, or which ones that I mentioned in the video you like. This has been ShadeX, and thanks for watching. And she wants to buy a little gorilla from Peebles. He ain't asking why.